No matter what type of stringed instrument you have, the nut is one of the most important parts of the overall performance, playability, and tone of your instrument. Here to demonstrate how to properly install the GraphTech man-made ivory nut is master luthier Nicole Elasana. Hi, I'm Nicole. One thing that I recommend a lot about improving playability and tuning is to change the nut on your guitar to a GraphTech Tusk XL nut. These nuts made by GraphTech are great. They're a man-made ivory that is impregnated with Teflon. That way the nut itself stays permanently lubricated. The material is also consistent within the material as well as from nut to nut, so there's no dead spots. It's a great nut. I'm going to show you how to install it. Once it's in there, no fuss, no muss, you're going to play in tune. Okay, so we've found the pre-slotted nut that we're going to use by using the Finding the Right Nut Guide. This is the Tusk 6061. So the first thing we did, we already removed the strings on this guitar, and now what we're going to do is remove the original nut. So before I remove the nut on this guitar, I want to make sure that I take a fine X-Acto blade and I'm going to score around the edges of the nut and on the paint. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want any wood or any finish to chip out. I want it to look really nice when I'm done. This one doesn't need a lot of scoring and I've already scored it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my block of wood, lay it flat on the fingerboard, and I'm going to tap it with a hammer lightly. Sometimes you need to go back and forth and this one just comes right out. So we're lucky that way. If I'm dealing with a strat type nut where the nut is sitting in the slot itself, Instead of tapping it off this way, what I would need to do is actually take this block and put it on the edge and I would tap it across to remove the nut. This nut is done and now we can move on. Now that we've removed the nut, we need to clean the nut slot itself. I'm going to use this Stuart McDonald file that's made just for this, it's pretty handy. So I'm going to take the coarse side and I'm going to hold the smooth side of the file against the edge of the fingerboard and just run it across the bottom of the nut slot, making sure not to round it over and to keep it tidy. I've just switched over to the finer side and I've got a nice clean nut slot from which to work. Now that we've got the nut slot clean, we're going to take our nut blank and see how it fits in the nut slot. Right now, it doesn't fit in. It's too wide, so I need to take a little width off there. Well, how I'm going to do that is by sanding the front face of this nut. Now you can use a piece of sandpaper and put it on your bench or on a table or any flat surface and sand along that. I have a sanding block with a piece of sandpaper on it, so I'm just going to try and take down that thickness of the nut to make it fit into the slot that we've just cleaned. We want to make sure it fits snugly, but not tight. And that looks like it's getting there. I think we've got the thickness, and now what I need to do is to square up the bottom edge of the nut. I want to make sure that's 90 degrees, fitting the edge of the fingerboard and the bottom of the nut slot perfectly. So the way that I like to do that, you don't have to do it like this, but an easy way to do it is to take a block with a piece of sandpaper on it, and that's going to hold the nut in place, and then I can just sand the bottom of the nut at a 90 degree angle with the other block. You always want good contact between parts when you're dealing with sound. So I'm going to hold that on the guitar and see how that fits. And it's looking good. So at this point, I'm going to install the two outside strings, and this is going to give me an idea of the height that we're dealing with at the nut slot. Okay, so we've got our high E and our low, low E string strung up on the guitar. At this point, we want to see how high our nut slots are sitting in relation to the guitar. So we're going to measure the nut slot height by holding the string down on the third fret and looking at the distance between the first fret and the string itself. So on the high E string, we're looking for a clearance of only 0.06 of an inch. And on the low E string, we're looking for a clearance of 0.1 of an inch. So I'm looking at this right now and we've got lots of space. So the way to take that down is I'm going to take the nut out of there. I'm going to take the tension off these strings. 
take the nut out of the slot and I'm going to sand the bottom of the nut itself. After some time with my sanding block, I got the right height on the nut. Everything is looking good here. So what that means, the height is good. What I need to do now is if there's any extra meat on the edges of the nut, that now's the time to clean it up. This nut doesn't need any, it fits perfectly. So what I'm gonna do now is remove the nut, add a bit of glue, and string it up. All right, so now we have our GraphTech Tusk XL nut installed. The guitar looks great, it sounds great, it's got improved playability, and it's gonna stay in tune. Mm -hmm.